Hello everyone, it's Mel from Everything Marmy. Welcome to Thursday the 7th of March 2024. And before we begin, what you see on this table, I have a beautiful card that I received in the mail. And did it ever bring a smile on my face? Uh, Wendy, if you're watching, uh, I just want to make sure there's nothing showing. I I received this yesterday after I'd done my video. And first of all, I'll pull it out, guys, okay? I just wanted to show you the whole card. Look at that beautiful, beautiful flower. It says, thank you. I love that. I love that. I mean, it matches. Look at it just matches my aesthetic right now everything um she wrote me a note inside of here which i'm gonna keep personal folks okay but she did write me a fairly lengthy note but look at this guys oh my goodness look look at that look at that oh my goodness thank you so much wendy i absolutely adore this little raccoon. I am going to laminate this little fella. And in fact, this reminds me of Mud. This one here. His markings. Mud was, I called him Mud because I had planter pots out in my backyard. That's when I was able to keep a garden. And it rained so much here that this little fella, I'm just going to assume it's him, okay, for all of you. And he had two siblings and, of course, Mama, right? Now, I know there are different Mamas all the time. Mama, the new Mama, has a new batch. She's pregnant again. But this was when I first had moved in years ago, a decade ago. And... I'd first seen the raccoons, and this one was a troublemaker. He got into my planters, and he was having the grandest whole time, smooshing around inside, round and round, going around my potted plants. It might not have been a pillow, but he was like flinging mud all over the place and getting himself completely covered, and she kept coming under the fence to call for him and he wasn't going and finally she came and got him at the nape of his neck and when I see this picture I was just transported back in time thank you thank you so much Wendy thank you so much I will treasure this and I I'm gonna laminate this and I'm gonna put this in a very special spot so that I never never miss out. I'm thinking, where do I want to put it? Do I want to put it in my... So now I'm going to just grab my Hobonichi cousin and where am I going to put him? Will he fit in the pocket? Look at that, guys. <gasps> he fits in my pocket. It's like it was meant to be in your letter. We'll go right behind there. Look at that. It was meant to be. And I'm just going to come along and find a safety pin or a paper clip or I'm going to need a thicker one. How is everybody doing today? I hope you are all well. We are getting through this week, aren't we, guys? We're getting through it. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. I should tell you guys that she found this picture from, look at that, 
So that's what I mean. Treasures can be found absolutely everywhere. Junk mail is not junk mail when there is a treasure on one side of it and it has meaning for somebody. And that sure does have meaning for me. I'm just going to take this little tape and kind of fold it so that I can. And Lisa, Lisa, you were saying that I should take care of this finger and cut it down. Well, what I did, guys, is I stuck in. <laughs> it's an old trick we used to do in the forces. Um, I stuck down um, permanent glue. Um, what is that stuff called? Um, quick cement or whatever. Yeah. And I have that in my first aid kit. And it's really good if you get a, a wound and it's really deep and you can't get to the emergency room within a certain period of time. You just put it and squish. Um, so I've put it down here and squished. Um, so thank you for that. And there was another lady, and I've forgotten to write down your name, who wanted the video for the composition notebook tutorial. I have put that on my community wall. Please go over and give this wonderful content creator a like if you use her um, tutorial. Please tag her in it. And I haven't got to mine yet because one person. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, Wendy. I love that. Okay. Today's video is the second part of the Commit 30. And again, I want to give a shout out, a huge shout out to my girlfriend, Hammy, who sent me not only the Commit 30 in this beautiful, beautiful yellow. Look at that. Um, but these glorious paper clips as well. I love them. Don't give up to do high five, the heart, the unicorn, and the heart or the check mark here. Um, I love them. There's six of them. And, you know, I just, I just love them. Thank you so much, Tammy. I have put this book back in the folder for now to show you all without the plastic. I haven't got the plastic cover on it here yet, but I wanted to see if she fit in there. Okay. And she does without the plastic. Now I haven't tried and I'm hoping I'm not shaking you all so much. I'm going to give you guys a flip through in just a minute, but I want to put it in this folder and try to see if it'll fit because there's a lot of stuff I've done to this. Lots and lots and lots. And I've made it heavy because, and I went I switched from glue to the tape roller and I went through three of these and I went through three glue sticks doing this. So guys, you know, if you're going to take a happy planner and do what I did, just know that it's going to take some supplies. Um, and I haven't even gone over it with washi yet because I wanted to get on with this video. So I've got a bunch of ephemera here. But I do want to see, and and this um, this cover that I made out of a file folder, and I've put it on completely backwards. Look at that. <laughs> Let's take out the ephemera. It would help if I put it on the right way. And you can see all the tabs. Okay, so that's the front. It says mum. And it's funny because two of my children print mum, M-U-M, and one prints it that way. So I, I let them have the creativeness to choose. Um, and one calls me mama sometimes. And all of my children's friends used to call me mum. 
Um, my niece and my nephews called me Auntie M, just like on the Wizard of Oz. So that's a fun fact about me. Maybe you guys didn't know. And so I've been called several names. My radio name in the forces was Mother Goose. I was given that pretty much right away. And that was because I had, <laughs> I always seemed to have um, whatever somebody needed. I counted up the notes pages in the back of this book. There are 30 note pages, folks, 30. That's incredible. So let's see if she fits. And I think she will, because I, I remember measuring her. There's going to be pieces of paper, by the way, everywhere. But I, I remember doing this so that she will fit in here snug, but she'll fit in. Because that back pocket, I haven't bulked it up at all. But look at that, okay? So this was an, this was a, a case that I found very, like, it's, it's not leather. It's called Gray Matter. G-R-Y-M-A-T-T-R. And it's by, oh my gosh, where are my glasses? Let's see if I can read that. Something construction. Maybe not, I don't know. Let's see, you guys can take a photo of that if you want and uh, blow it up. Anyway, it's, it's, it's not, uh, <laughs> it's not the greatest. It's not a leather cover, but it didn't matter to me. It fit in here. And you see, I can tote it around. Look how wide it got. Like it's doubled. <laughs> it's already doubled. Um, this was my... Uh, 2023. That's my 2024 already, and I haven't really done anything to it. Well, I mean, apart from this, and I got these from Leanne. Was it Leanne? Laura. Why do I always get you mixed up, Laura? I am so sorry, sweetheart. And I love them that they they snug up right in there. See. So I've got note paper. I'm going to do some washi cards and put a pen. So I could put a pen here. I remember telling you guys it didn't have a pen holder, but it does. This is the Klena. And it just fits. And then up here, I could use like, see, I've got some of these cards here. Uh, let's get a vertical one. So see how these cards are here? These are from Villa Beautiful. And then they slide right in here. But the whole point is on these, let's take some basic washi. Okay, here's some black. Because I've got a lot of black and yellow going on in here. So I got to start doing this more on my cards because and using up washi because I do and I am on the go quite a bit. So you just kind of wrap it around. You can take any kind of plastic for this, guys. You know, the thick sticker plastic even works. You just wrap a couple of layers around it because you don't really need a whole lot. You, you're not going to be constructing your books on the go. You're just going to be, you know, doing your spreads, right? So I tend to make sure it comes around to the front. And fumble fingers. Huh? I don't know. I always get a little bit nervous. It's funny. And if you're a content creator, can you please like let me know if you get a little bit nervous too? No matter how many times I do videos... No matter. I always have to do some deep breathing exercises before I push play. And I'm not quite sure why. Uh, it's a camera. I can stop it at any time. But I think the reason is, is 
it's like I'm having a conversation with everybody and I want you all to feel comfortable and I want to make sure that I include everybody and that I don't miss anything and I'm always nervous I'm going to flop up my words in a way that's offensive because you guys know I have a speech impediment and those things kind of hang over me and I have to get over them but it's it, it takes time right so yeah I always get a little bit nervous so there's the second one now let's get some color so we've got some fun ones and and I'm only really doing this guys just to kind of give you an idea that um, this book is handy and it was cheap. I bet you I wouldn't have paid more than two or three dollars for it. Oh, itchy nose. Sorry, guys. Always keep the Kleenex near. It must be after six o'clock. I hear the trucks across the street. Sorry about the silence, the sound of silence. I love that song. I love Simon and Garfunkel. Bridge Over Troubled Waters. Um, one of my favorite songs ever, if not the most favorite song, although I don't know because I haven't heard them all, is The Boxer. If there was a theme song to my life, The Boxer would probably be up there in the top 10. Love that song. So this is how you wrap washi. A lot of people don't know how to wrap washi. I don't want to use that one because it's like too cakey, but this one's nice. Let's see how I get sidetracked. That's the other thing I do. You're probably all dying to know what's inside the planner, how I did the planner. Um, I will be putting pictures up on Instagram today. That is a priority under hashtag commit30crew hosted by Monique over at Maniki Plans and her friends. And um, perhaps I'm included in that little um, group. Commit30 planner friends, you know. Um, I have been trying to watch people's uh, videos. Sometimes I get through them and sometimes I don't, which I suspect happens here as well. I mean, nobody realistically has like time enough to watch one of my videos, but you know, you could speed it up and that's the whole point. Like it doesn't bother me. This is my favorite washi and look, it's going to it's going to run out. That one there too. It's going to run out. It's, these are too big. I need a thin one. So we'll put a thin one at the top. Then we'll have a variety. And like I said, the only reason I'm doing this is because some people just honestly don't know how to do this. You take any plastic, any plastic at all, an old credit card, a points card, um, a gift card, whatever and you just wrap your washi around it you can do them very narrow see that one broke but I don't care you can do them narrower if, if that's what you want to do you can do them against cardboard too but you'll lose that washi that's up against the cardboard but still it can be done and if it's narrow that way um, then you're not losing too much. Okay, so here we have a washi card. And I'm not going to do two, but look at that. Fits right in there. And now on the go, sorry, I'm just multitasking, which I should never do. Now on the go, I have these papers from Laura and if I want to take a piece off and like tape it in I've got 
five, five different washies of different, you know, colors and sizes and a pen. Okay, so let's show you what I've got. So I did, I'm going to just slide it out of the cover for now. We're going to leave the rest, but I'm going to slide that out of the cover. So it did take a while. I mean, a couple hours it took a while. I'm going to mm, lower you a little bit because there's still some stuff that I want to decorate here. Um, so let's see what we can do now. I want to put who I am. I want to add some touches. That says Alexandra. I don't really want to do that. Progress, not perfection. That would introduce me. And everything is going to be okay. I kind of like that because there's so much stuff in the world that goes on. Do you know what I'm saying? There's so much stuff in the world that's going on, but I don't, I don't necessarily want to permanently put it down. Um, and that's where washi tape comes in. So let's just see what I can find. That's going to, there's this one here, and the great thing about washi is that it comes off fairly easy. So, I mean, you know, do I want to do the four corners? Maybe not. Okay, but I do want to use something darker over here. That's nice. Yeah, I like this. Everything's going to be okay. Because I tend to have compassion for almost everything and everyone. And uh, I, my, I, I just, I've always kind of been that way. Um, and, you know, even in my own life when I, I have, because I, I do have anxiety. Um, and so, you know, knowing that I could just flip open this, this planner and see those words. Sometimes that's all it takes. And then I could just put my name here. So that's pretty simple for the beginning. And then I have the back. And here I've just taken this piece here and washed it down. So I mean, all of the information is still there. Whether I choose to use it or not is a different story. And I do have scraps that I've cut that I can use as well. You know, various different um, paper scraps, photos and whatnot. But I thought that I would, you know, just, where was it? Like this one, love is in the air. Or that bird. I just really like that bird. And then, you know, there's this fun one here. And then also this beautiful color here. And like, I just went to Daphne's diary and pulled out like, you know, these kind of papers as well you know, for fall. So 
with some beautiful colors. The bunny for Easter. But I really like, like these two here that kind of make it fun. So I think I'm just going to generally cut that. not really getting too specific with it. I get a lot of hummingbirds where I am. And this, you know, you can be as creative in these books as you want, essentially. Um, I'm just not going to fussy cut too, too much. Because I just want that image on the newspaper in the back, you see? Right here. Just to sort of break it up a little bit, add a little bit of color. And I want to thank you guys for all your comments and encouraging uh I do read them and I have a terrible time even like when I'm labeling my videos. I don't know if you guys noticed the other day there was like 15 spelling errors. Um, I'm, ha I'm having a hard time with my eyes. It's, it's the medication. I apologize. I know you guys must be tired of hearing me say that. Um, it just is and um, it's being investigated, you know, but I, until, until it's, you know, it's, it's sort of out of my hands at this point, and I only share it with you because I know that you guys are being patient, waiting for my responses. I tend to answer in the videos and um, if you get like a negative thumbs down on your video ever, um, I hope that's not me because my fingers don't hit the right buttons. And so like it's not it's definitely not on purpose, guys. I, I swear. Um, I've gone back to my favorite videos sometimes and seen that negative. And so if you ever get that, I want you to know it's very possible somebody's come along and just hit the wrong button, okay? So, um, I'm just kind of really loosely putting this bird here, this hummingbird here, and I'm using washi tape and just rolling it up, do you see? And just making sure it's not going to go anywhere, making sure it's <laughs> properly on there. Um, I've also had requests on my Instagram. So here's how it works. Um, I generally don't follow a person back if I can't see any content. Um, I've had problems in the past. So if, if I see content, like if, if you're, if you're restricted, right. And, and you want me to accept you. If I can't see any content, I tend to, you know, hesitate. Um, and that might be frustrating. I apologize, but, um, It just sort of is the way it is. Do you remember these stickers? These are the novelty stickers. I made plans I intend to cancel. Like, <laughs> I had, I find socializing to be exhausting. Like, I'd love to put some of those down. I'm just, I haven't opened this bag yet. How do you open it? I've been saving these for a tune's age, and I, I just, I just kind of want to use um, everything. So I want to talk about this plastic here for a minute, okay? So this plastic, 
can never be recycled, okay? So I always reuse it. And sometimes I'll like, see, you can get that, you can get that out of there. I'll paper craft on that. I'll put the item inside of here. I'll decorate the bag. That's what I tend to do. So let's put down some stickers. I do find socializing to be exhausting. I wonder how old these are. Like this book, to me, is like the true um, me. It, it just is. feel like being extra today. Okay, I think that poor little bird, I don't know. And then I need kind of dark ones on here. That's This salad tastes like I'd rather be fat. <laughs> I'm tired, I almost did it. High maintenance doesn't begin to cover it. Okay, yeah, I am very high maintenance. Very high maintenance, and I know it. Um, I'm tired, story of my life, guys. I fight it tooth and nail every day. I almost did it is another story. Because I try. But doesn't that give it a nice kind of pop of color? So that's good for now. I don't want to go like too nutty. I need something in between here. What do I need? I do have some vellum, but I think the one I want in between there is one of these two. That's the star one. Oh, sorry, this is acetate. I always do that. Actually, there it is, right there. And I gotta do the corners. around and all I'm going to use because I don't really care if it touches the end so I made these ones a little bit shorter and I'm just going to use tape and all I do is tape it in and I'm kind of trying to keep the book in straight instead of moving it all over the table and this just kind of breaks up the calendar a little bit so once you get, you know, your tape on one side, you just have to secure it a little bit on the other side. So if you put three on one side, you can get away with putting two on the other. And that helps secure, you know, your, your product so you're not going through it so fast. So there we go. I've just got a little flip through. Now here, is that coming up? We'll fix that with a little bit of tape. I didn't start using the tape runner until much later when I realized, okay, glue wasn't going to cut it. Now what I did here was I put notes and then this beautiful paper here that I cut out. And um, I'm not sure what I'll use that for, but here I want to put something, a quote or a saying. So let me show you what I've got in this pile. I've got some acetate. I've got this print because there's some of this print within the planner. I've got the star one. I've got this little one because there is a second one in here. Because of the way that this particular strip of acetate was, I think it went this way. Yeah, um, I cut it so that it'd be a little smaller, but that's fine. And then I cut some, let's see. Okay, so 
I'm just trying to show you in the order that I have it. I didn't do too many, but I did like Planner Girl. So that's probably going to go on the front somewhere or in the notes section, Planner Girl. So that was on one sheet and I cut that. Like I said, I really like this, but I, I'm not sure. I really like it, even though it says Alexandra. I like this because I'm reading a book right now about Amsterdam. The next book that I'm going to read is about basically Europe because it's the book of the greatest generation that Tammy sent me, which was her mom's. I love Paris, so I mean, all of those really uh, bode well for me. Behold, I am making all things new, and that is a verse from the Bible. And then Ralph Waldo Emerson, I've got a few from him. The wise men in the storm praise God not for safety from danger, but for deliverance from fear. And that is on Tomoe River paper. This other one from him as well. Guard well your spare moments. They are like uncut diamonds. Discard them and their value will never be known. Improve them and they will become the brightest gems in this in a useful life. And the third is what lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. And then enjoy your life. Choose the good. Okay, guys, warning if you got children, turn down your volume, focus on your own shit. And then this is a Jane Austen page because I am an ardent Jane Austen fan. And then I'm also the same with Alice in Wonderland. And I've got some of these cards and these are thicker vellum. I was thinking of putting her on the cover of the book. And then I have her as well. So I'm going to disperse these somehow throughout this book. Because I think it's important to have like some cutesy stuff, some words and whatnot. So is there anything, maybe a quote? right there enjoy your life that's no let's see kind of like that there Yeah, I kind of like that there. And because it's on Tamori River paper, it's not going to take up much. I need kind of black. Black, 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 black. And I just had some, didn't I? Because it's yellow. So, what do I want to do? Let's get some different washies going on here. So I hope that when you're decorating your Commit 30 that you use your magazines. I, You know, I, I haven't really gone through, like, all of the magazines that I wanted to. This is only the start. I mean, I tend to go crazy. That's why my books are always so chunky, guys. But don't hesitate to throw your own take into it. In fact, I highly recommend you don't even look at anybody else's book before setting up your own. And the reason I highly recommend that is because then you come out more. Um, I find that, for me anyway, when I just do my books the way I do my books, um, it becomes more me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna leave this because I quite like this pattern. And in here, I've done this. And in here, I'm going to put all of the trackers, like things that I want to keep hold of. There is the checklist. Because this was a teacher's book, I put that down in the beginning. I've got two pages here. So I want to put like some vellum or acetate or something in between. And I don't have a full sheet of vellum. 
unless I was to do that there. And I am, I'm almost tempted, guys, because actually her. Can I fit Alice on there? Hmm. Very, very interesting. It's behind. Do I want to put her there or there? I don't know. If I'm going to take too long, I'm not going to do it. So... Because I have, I have these little ones as well. So I can make pockets, clear pockets. Yeah, see, I've got all these little ones, like a long tail. Let's look at these. Because the back is blank. And I like that there. So where's the washi? I just want to make, you know, I'll, I'm going to come along with some stamps and stuff too. And I don't know, just sort of put my take on it a little bit. I was thinking of even adding a little ribbon to it. Um, I do plan on backdating this one. I really enjoy the paper of this one. And I actually, uh, I'm kind of pleased that it turned out to be the large one. At first, I thought it was like the um, normal size, but the normal size is, is slightly smaller than the A5. So this works out really well. So here works out well. See, I could put Planner Girl there. Just tape that on. I could put Planner Girl here. You know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it, and if I don't like it, well, I'll just fix it. I think part of me likes this one, too. That one's kind of fun. I like fun. I want a little bit whimsical, a little bit eccentric, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So, you know, you don't have to stay all within, like, say, if you're doing, like, I don't know, retro or colorful or you can throw whatever you want in here. This thing is yours. Um, so I turned it over. Where was that Planner Girl one? Right there. So where is that washi? Um, let's use this one. It's a little different. And leave it as a flip up. And then something down here. I don't think I have anything unless I cut out an Alice, which I can do. Let's cut out an Alice. I liked that this fellow that had these sheets, I can't remember his name. I'm so, so sorry, but he uh, is here in Canada and he only had a few of these left. I think he was closing his shop and I literally bought everything he had left. And he sent me a note thanking me because um, I guess they were moving and... I imagine it was um, like to a retirement home or something, the way that he made it sound. And so 
he was just happy that somebody kind of wanted them. And he threw in a couple of extras for me. He was very kind. I mean, he was kind without the extras. So let me put Alice. She's crooked. We're going to fix that up. Yeah, I, I, Carol Lewis, I don't know, just the way that he used his friend's children to make and the middle child. And I've been like most of my life as the middle child. So there's Alice looking up. And she's got a little quote there. So then there's notes here. I kind of want to leave this for January. I'm going to probably like washi tape this and any like any of that. So we've got why is January sticking? Okay. So there's January. Turned out well, right? And then here I can write priorities or whatnot for the month. And I really love how all of these kind of turned out. You see? Like they turned out really well. And um, I didn't really even try. I just got better and better. You guys saw me like struggle with the machine and I just got better and better. Oh, I'm gonna sit for a little bit. So then it goes into the January calendar. I love this space down here. I'm gonna figure out something to do. And then it goes through all the weeks, which we know, right? And then you've got the end of the month or February. And then here's, this February. Um, some of the stuff got cut off. February got cut off. I wasn't, you know, on the ball with it, but you know, it is what it is. Every time I sit down, I worry that you guys can't see it. Okay. So, but still February's there. There's the February calendar. Again, we know that I haven't got to February. It's got all the months and the weeks. Here's March. And March is block, so we've got block and block. Now, March is the third month, so I was thinking to break that up with something. And I was thinking that something would be this. It's either this or see here or this short one here no I think it's got to be that I think it's got to be that folks so this is why there's so much added weight to the book because literally I'm adding the extra weight where's the tape but that's okay I mean, the great thing about acetate is I can come along with sticky tabs. And because I'm starting it really for March, even though I'm behind, and I've just hooped that tape up. Where's the small scissors? Um, I can put a few little sticky tabs on there. Let me lay it down before I hurt somebody. <laughs> okay, why is it up so high? And I'm going to put, yeah, a good chunk of tape, as long as I don't hoop it up, right in the middle. And really secure it down. And then on the back, the same thing. And then I'm going to probably come along with some Posca pins or something. And give this a bit of color. Because it's black for, like, the whole March. And then it, this quote is also black. So to me, it's like a little too much, right? Like, so you get that and then you get that. So that's why this acetate's important. But then I can come along with sticky tabs. That's, I've got sticky tabs all over the place here. Right, put 
put some sticky tabs on here. This was the measurements. I don't need so many now. There's two. There's another couple of colors. Like, we're talking bright. We're talking, you know. The lady uh, who does the No So Junk Journal is Rebecca Hoot. Rebecca Hoot. And she's fantastic, you guys. Oh, my goodness. I love watching her. She's cheerful. She's upbeat. Her, her planners are just simple, but they're, like, colorful. I just love it. I'm just going to try to balance out some of these. Okay, now. What are you trying to do? There we go. See how I'm, like, unable to get things straight? <laughs> and then I need a nice one for there. So, of course, i got to come down here. Bear with me. I know I got more. There we go. The ones I'm looking for are like right at the bottom. This is what happens when you have small space, but these are the ones I was looking for. Aren't those beautiful? And it adds color because it is yellow, right? So I want those kind of right in the middle. But I mean, I've got like such a variety of different ones too. So even like in the beginning here, I can put like one or two of these. And I know it, it's, you know, not the greatest but heck you know like I'm not I'm not here to compete or you know I love these these art ones look at these ones she's just awesome so I'll put those up there And then these little slippers. You can get really fun and creative and nothing needs to coordinate, you guys. That's the whole point. That's what I'm trying to share with you is that you don't have to coordinate anything. It can overlap. You can have gaps. You know, you don't have to be like anybody else. You can have clear ones. I have clear ones. And so, you know, that, that can be your page. And I recognize that I have a lot of stuff. Okay, so remember that. So that page, like it's just, everything's covered in it, right? So we've mo now moved down to March. So March just, it's a little clearer. And then here is April. And May looks like this. Now, May is really, I don't know, guys. Like, let's look at these stickers here. Something. I wake up this tired. <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, I like to pretend I know what I'm doing. I ran away from my problems today. <laughs> Look, I'm going to be as real as I can be. Um, I made plans I intend to cancel. How many of us do that? <laughs> That's too funny. And paid my bills on time. I didn't order takeout. That's another pink one. I need a darker one. But, you know, I don't drink. <laughs> I might as well put this one. Only cried once today. Today stunk and adulting complete for today. I need to put something here. It's 
So this one's coming off. Because, I mean, it's just too funny. I think what I'm going to do, you come off too. Because I just, I, I don't know. I've been hoarding these stickers and I've always wanted to use them. But I do like these. That kind of cheers it up a bit. And then, like, don't ask me why, but... Like, yeah, maybe that's enough. It should have something up at the top there, but. Hmm. I don't want to get caught up in the. Let's see. Yeah, I tend to get caught up in the aesthetic of things sometimes, and um, I really don't want to. I think an orange one. This one. Because it's just too, mm, without anything, you know? So there's May. June is up here. And it looks like this. I need to definitely put washi tape down there. And this is one that I want to also add. Some. Because it's the halfway point. So that's flowery and it's colorful. What are we doing for time? 56 minutes. Okay. It might be a long one, guys. I'm sorry. Flowery and colorful and darks. Do I have it over here? Flowery, colorful, and dark. Yeah, I do. Okay. Let me get off my planner bag without dropping everything. Oh, my fingers work. Here we go. And there's a small one. <laughs> All right. I could always do this in part one and part two, but I figure if we're in it this deep, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes that's all you've got, right? So if that's all you've got, that's all you've got. And then I want to just put this down. So I want to do the corners. And again, we're just taping it in. Just to I mean, this is the halfway point. And June is my youngest birthday. And I am so grateful that I was talked into having more than two children because I wanted two. And my my ex-husband wanted four. And we, we kind of compromised and had a third. And... Boy, guys, you know, like I could have had a hundred. It wasn't about the money. It was about time. You know, I mean, we were poor as church mice, sure, but we may do. Okay, so let's look at July. July is here. I will get to doing that on my own. I'm just wondering... That would look really good there, but that one's August. That one's September. See, that doesn't look good at all. And that that's kind of the problem I'm I'm seeing here is that um 
I've got to do something with these kind of blank ones. But anyway, let me just carry on. That's October's. That really looks good too. All right, can't help it because October, June, I mean, these are all months that, what did I do with it? These are all months that are kind of like, you know, quarterly months, right? October is a really powerful month. Uh, June is a powerful month. Uh, March is a powerful month. January is too. So, I mean, we've got these powerful months, you know, these, what I call, you know, cornerstone months that are like, I don't know, they're almost like, and you see, I didn't quite get it all. I will though. And that didn't even come close. It's hard because I'm trying not to turn the book, making excuses. <laughs> Okay, and I think the point two is trying to just show you guys that it's all right. Everything's going to be okay. It's all right. Like these books, ugh, no matter what, like see half the quotes cut off on it. And, you know, I just recycled a, a happy planner and, you know, I'm using what, what I've got and magazine stuff and I've cut off this too short and I've made a, a thousand mistakes. And you know what? At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It really just doesn't matter because this is your own personal planner. This or any other planner you do is yours. It's your memories. You are the main character. It's your life. And it doesn't matter if your handwriting is like everybody else's or if your ideas are like anybody else's. No, none of that matters. What matters is that you put your own unique spin on it. And if you don't have a quote unquote unique spin, you do, you do. Um, because however you choose to do your book is your unique spin. So remember that guys, like don't joy, joy. The only way you can achieve it is, is by trying very hard not to compare because joy is comparison is the thief of joy essentially. Okay. So that's October. Let's look at November. All the secrets of the world are contained in books and December. is just like that. Now I can't leave it like that. No, 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 no. Okay, who's texting me? <laughs> oh, it's too funny. One of my doctors was out yesterday. She had a bit of a fever and she didn't want to she didn't want me to um, go near her until she knew what was going on. And um, so she just texted me and said she was fine, which I told her. I said, you know what? It doesn't matter. So this one here is going to need like a picture of something. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do at all but that's how December looks and then we've got all of these note pages in the back and there's 30 of them so for now I did want to put on I did want to put on Alice didn't I I did want to put her on so let's do that and that will be the last thing oh but oh, I do want to
tip this in somewhere. I want to tip this in like that. Maybe right there. Oh my gosh. Sometimes it's just how it works out. You're not looking for something to place down. It just works out that way. And I love that. Like it just organically comes about. And it there's just something, you know, that you feel. Because I get asked that question from time to time. You know, how do you know what to lay down? I don't. I don't. But th it, there's a certain feeling sometimes that I just feel like um, is calling to me. Now, did I do the corners on that? No. Or that? No. What are we at for time? It's hard to read. I'm blinded. Oh. <laughs> you should see. I've got this like ring light above me. I feel like a cyclops. Okay. Let's get that put in there. If I can get that tape off the table. No, I just totally wrecked it. Bye bye. I want to show you guys, too, before I leave here, all of the clippings. Wendy, I'm still thinking about that little raccoon picture you sent to me. So cute. Oh, my gosh. I haven't thought about mud in a while, but, like, it's funny because when they grow up, some of their markings change, but they always have, like, like if their tail markings, their tail markings don't change. So this one's a little different. Like, look, we've got Mr. Darcy going on here. Um, Keish, if you're watching, I know you love Pride and Prejudice. My favorite is Sense and Sensibility. Because um, Keish from the Mumster Plans put something similar in hers. I hope you don't think I'm copying you, honey. Um, and then everything is going to be okay, because everything will. And then... I do want to put in some of these quotes somewhere, right? Like, like even if I have to lift up. Do you know what I mean? Lift it up. Up. Oh, come on. What is wrong with this tape? Or is it me? Look at it. Like, honestly. Either I'm getting worse with my dexterity or... Um, oh, which is possible. Or... I don't know. Now... Let's go to another one. Let's see what August looks like. That one's okay. Let's see what July looks like. Not too much. Mm, too much. It's June. I like flip ups because you actually have like the back of this paper and you could put extra notes, you know, right, right in here and um, enjoy your life. And we're going to cut out Alice. Let's do that before I forget. It's 
sorry guys if it's a long one. See how thick this um, vellum is? It's quite thick. Hopefully you guys can see everything. And then I'm in screen. We don't do a whole lot of fussy cutting. And I gotta get out for a walk. Because I'm sticking out. Oh, and I didn't even tell you. I have to tell you the story of what I found on my walk yesterday. My goodness. Yeah. Kind of <clears throat> threw on my back a little bit. I'm doing that, but that's okay. Okay. Let's get Alice on there. And all I'm going to do with her is use the... One little slide of the tape. This little one. This like, do you see it? Just one little slide. You put her right in the middle above the commit. That's it. Doesn't need any more than that. And now we're gonna push her back into here. Very carefully. And see how it all looks. And there she is. Now I'm going to try to figure out Instagram and see if I can do a reel of a flip over there once I'm done. But guys, we did a lot today. We did a lot. Um, this book is absolutely chocked full of everything. And um, I'm just wondering if there's another code. I really like... Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I still have some finishing touches to do on it. So that I might, like, do one more complete flip. But that's it. That's her for now. She's pretty chunky. And we've got all of this stuff. But look, guys... Look how much, like, cuttings and clippings and whatnot from the papers. Like, there was a lot. So, thank you so much for watching. Tammy, thank you again from my heart. Really enjoyed working on this project. I will continue working on it. It's a work in progress. Um, these little Alice's are going in there. Choose the Good is going in there. Um... There's a lot I can do, right? Like I can even take this and put it back here, right? Choose the good. Like I can do so, so much right here. Actually, I really like that. Really like that. Where's the tape? Because isn't isn't that what we, we need? I mean, kindness and goodness. So, you know, that's there. And then I can use these other things. Like I can even take her. Because she'd fit just like that. But nonetheless, here she is. Everything is going to be okay. A little darker. I might add some trims. I don't know. But in the meantime, thank you ever so much for spending your time with me. If you made it to the end of this video, put a little emoji, a little, I don't know, a little wave your hand or something. I don't know. Kind of been doing this thing, keeping track. And uh, you know how I get sometimes, guys. <laughs> So, thank you so much. Remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. You are loved, needed, and wanted far, far more than you will ever know. 
Thank you, Wendy, so much for the card. Thank you, Tammy, for this commit. And for everybody else, I want to thank you from my heart as well. And please have a great day. And most of all, I hope, I pray that you and your family is safe today. Bye, everyone. Talk to you next time.